money, clothes, and the cars. Known in the streets as a hood superstar. I just wanna stunt hard, gleam, and shine. And when I clutch a top spot, the game is mine. Man, I'm a superstar. Man. You hit me with that, yeah. What's up, everybody? It's Big Joe and the Panda. We back in the building. Took a little break. Had to do some things. There's some thought process going on. But um, we back in effect. We back in effect. Got my man Jet Nation, my man Troy Martin Beats in the building. What up? Holding me down. My man Mustafa behind the boards. I'm the King Cootie. What? It's Cuddy, man. Oh, Cuddy, Cuddy, This Cuddy. guy right here. <laughs> Comedy band, <bang>, man. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't bringing up no bigger up nobody else, man. <laughs> Big shout to Chiller Radio dot net. Holds us down in the background with the podcast and all that and all that. Today, I'm gonna pose a question about a topic, subject, a uh, lifestyle, so to speak, a uh, 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 something that we all live. A movement, my man. A movement that. A movement. Being that you know most of us are of a certain age, we were kind of yeah. came up with. We grew up watching it grow. We grew up with it. Right. Some of us grew out of it. But so, yeah, yeah, story. yeah. Real, real. But you know, but we know we, we it's <clears throat> hip hop, baby. Point fingers. Hip hop. Still dabbling. Straight out in the park. We used to do it out in the dark. Exactly. <laughs> Where would this world be without hip hop? Without to think about hip hop. How hip hop has touched so many things. The landscape of it all. Where would the world be without mm. an eight oh eight? Uh, Boom, that bad. Motown Records would still be on top. Yeah, it'll be R and B. I do believe. But what I'm okay. But was the world a better place without hip hop? No. Mm. I don't ah, know. depends on who you. I don't think so, man. Cause it depends on who you ask. Think about that. That that hip hop came in as that disco era was dying, mm -hmm. and and, and R and B was kind of really popish and kind of kind of getting a little corny mm -hmm. for a minute. Then it was it lost some of its soul for a minute, you know. So hip hop kind of you know brought the fun and and. and but see, I'm certainly we brought some soul back in the day. I'm not talking just music. I'm talking about culturally, like right, it's graffiti, skate key, Roxy's. It touched how it how it brought a lot of people together. How do you feel about graffiti? It was an art form, dude. It was a, it was a rebel art. It was pirates running those ships. Blaze, back then. Con, you had cast that Dondi. Dondi, Dondi, the whole TC5 that lived up here, Skeen. Slay one. Zephyr. Slay one. As you as you seen the trains <laughs> go by, you waited to see that story being told. Somebody had something to say that weekend. The Christmas one that they always ran on every you know our American Christmas oh, yeah, time. Yeah, Snow that was hot. yeah. Somebody so, had something to say that, that weekend. That was Tracy. Somebody that went that to the yards and brought a brought out a story. Gave you visual art. Oh. Then you go inside the cars, tags told you who was there that night. Mm -hmm. They didn't have enough time. But they put up their 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 piece. Who we went all city that so way? So saying that like the subways were more prettier. I know they were ugly. <laughs> Don't get I wouldn't say it's prettier. I mean, there's I times back, I got some photos of some old trains, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. Wow. It was bad. Yeah, there was no air conditioning. Wow. Back there. Well, no air conditioning. I'm talking about the writing on the wall. Yeah, it was. It was. What hard. is this? Yeah, this is craziness. It was yeah, hard. sometimes yo Monday mornings you had to watch how you sat. Nah, I don't, the, the, the ink might be fresh. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> the ink might be fresh. You know, they have some pretty stuff up there, but on the outside, the inside. I mean, was horrible. I mean, godly man, it was hard. Dude, Jeez, it inspired man. a lot of people. It's, it is. <laughs> I remember being this kid looking at all this writing. I'm like, yo, what are they saying? But oh, it's kind of hot the way they wrote it. It inspired me to write. Mm. Well, well, my building got a bunch of writing on it, man. Yeah, like my. Right, you know, my doors, man. Yeah, something wrote on my car, man. <laughs> <laughs> so <say that>. like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? They didn't have something to say. They were just writing the names and whatever. Yeah, man, like I, I, so I was, it wasn't everything wasn't had something to say. They're writing, on my, ice, they're writing on my ice cream truck. I can't right. like I can't don't, like, I know you you dabbled in it back in the day, but mm. don't get it don't make it look like something it was and when it when it wasn't that. What do you mean? Everything, do you everything do you wasn't a message. <laughs> everything wasn't pretty. <laughs> a lot of it was quite. No, 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 no. No, they wasn't. Sir, ninety percent of it was just people writing their name all over the place. Sir, why are you, you writing on that beef. train seat? You had beef just because you toyed you so on that train seat. So that's a message. But the jump straight up, that's not a message. But that's not, you know, but let's not get too Thank into God that. For the, thank God for the internet so we can get some messages on the phone. Oh, right. And not all over the train, right. man. Right. Wow. Let's not get too carried away in graffiti because <laughs> that's not what okay. the, not the basis the of the show. What about the dress? 
No, it's just like how, how the world will be without, you know, writing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just to, to, to look at how hip-hop has touched yeah. um, pop culture, advertising, sports. You, you listen to a commercial. Different forms of industries, like, from just not just music, but... I see everything. a whole bunch of liquor being slain all over the place. It's like because once you get a record pop. deal... It seems yeah. like somebody got to sell me some liquor, man. Uh, like, as like, they're trying to say, you know, get a beverage was, contract. First it was uh, Code 45, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you know, say nah, it's say like, nah, it's Code 45. Like, it seems like we're being oh, used, English. man. Like, we got used, man. Well, yeah, you know, they, they seen the young kids looking at and it they like, all right. Up to all and see it. what happens when we start putting these Code 45 commercials mm -hmm. out there. Let's see, see what the product sales go. Kind of got diluted later on. Yeah, they used us. They used him when they got the money. It's still doing. When they got the money. No, not to mention, not to mention the quickest way to make a jingle now. So how would the world be without a whole bunch of liquor commercials? Wow, this is a no situation too. Think about it. I just want to play devil's advocate. No, liquor's liquor. Well, liquor would still be advertised. It wouldn't be so directed. Yeah, I'm gonna Teddy Pendergrass singing about Cole Forty Five. I just. I just don't want to be. Life. I just want to be a broke nigga. Give my girl back blown out by this rich dude. <laughs> <laughs> what does hip hop become, man? It's, 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 it's been tainted. <laughs> Did you say tainted? This, yeah, yeah. <laughs> diluted. It's a guy named Young Thugger. He's calling his people husbands. What do you mean he diluted? He's calling his people's yeah, they, they, his, his hobbies. You know, young you know, Thug, yeah, yeah no, you know, no. God. In a, okay. lot of, in a lot of aspects, you know, hip-hop is, in, in, in some format, it's dying. Gangster. A no, street no. rapper just lost to a singer. It's, the no, game is I'm talking about. done. There's a little rock and roll gangster hip, going hip, on there. Hip-hop, so, you know, I don't like your adjective. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because we of, let them get to it. That's yeah. what it was. It, it's got too, it got too commercialized. The, 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 the machine, the man, got too much control in it. And, and, it, and it's water was dead. It's killing it. Yeah, but hip -hop, without the machine, hip -hop, not, spread. Not, not to throw any disrespect to anybody who's going through it, but hip hop has cancer. And, yeah, it's, but, and yeah. it's dying. But you see, you got to understand, that's okay. according to them, that's the way hip hop is supposed to be because that's their lifestyle. These weird people that's doing these weird things, that's not hip hop, but mm -hmm. to them, that's their lifestyle. So they're comfortable doing it. Yeah, but it's 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 dying. Without the machine, it's, it's got a pulse though. Would it, would you have hip hop in Israel? You know, in Israel, whatever. Is it important to have hip hop in Israel? It wouldn't be Japan. Yeah, is it really is important it, to know, them? Like, it's not important. So they had to get over there. Why do we gotta cater to these out of country people? It's not it, hip hop's not about that. When when Herc and them was doing joints and and, and Kaz and them were battling the Fantastic, yeah, they they weren't thinking about uh, people uh, in Israel checking not. for my style. Because so, they weren't touched by the machine yet. But that's what you asked, would it be over there? We, we wouldn't care if it's over there or not. We didn't look for it to be over there. We didn't look, back in the early days, we didn't think of it going worldwide. It was something, what we just what we did in in our neighborhoods, in, in different neighborhoods of the city. And people laughed at it. The machine laughed at it at first. Oh, this is a passing fade. It'll be over in five or ten years. Mm. Decades later, they're making billions of dollars off of it. Decades later, they kids are listening to it. <laughs> yeah, the kids in the suburbs are, are rocking their hat different ways and, right. and dressing as people dress in the in the hood, so to speak, quote unquote. So, so, you know what I'm saying? So Yo, no daddy, I want to be they gangster. They'd still be in their lane doing the you know the Carlton dance yeah, and whatever, would, listening to that's what I'm getting Billy at. Joel. You take that away. What would they do? How would they? They they'd they still survive? be they'd still be surviving. Nah, they'd be the, doing it. The be suburbs would be fine. Right. The hip, hip hop, it it it. it it crossed that line. It infected their area, for lack of a better word. It is it, it's, it's influenced by it, but the the burbs would be just perfectly fine without hip hop. Mm. They'd still be going on right. They'd be just fine with it without it. So it's not like the burbs need it. The hood needs hip hop. Yeah, well, you know. Um, and they're killing it. They're killing themselves. But what's know. the first major crossover song? Sugar well, Hill, right? The light. You know, yeah, that boy band. Light. Boy band Sugar Hill Gang? Because okay. you know, I know they ain't a real crew. Absolutely. Those they was a boy band. band. Those were the first Drakes. Yeah. Mm. First Drakes. The first, first hip hop, the first hip hop hit was Ghost Written. Right. And and not even not even uh directly written. They just like they it was Jack written for. Took the whole so thing. To speak. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that goes right there. Mitchell Pump, Grandmaster Cass. Oh yeah, Cass got robbed from yeah. history. So he, that that ghost right never got robbed. paid for that. Dude. Mm. But you know he's in court with them now. He's oh. in because now Rogers robbed them. Mm. Oh and yeah, now, for, the, and now, for using the music. After oh, yeah. 30 years, you're allowed to petition the courts for your for your lyrics. And Grandmaster Cass right now is making a move towards that. I hope he gets his money, Work. man. Good get luck, your Cass. money, Cass. I hope he gets his money, man. He deserves it. He got robbed. Because there's a fraud. Sylvie Robinson number was a fraud. They put their little boy band together. Somebody wasn't a crook. Somebody's sitting in the mansion right now because of Grandmaster Cass. Right. Yeah, the Sylvie Robinson's son. He was living on the... You had a reality show. He, yeah, he never has to in work big again house, in his life. In he was big working house in a pizza back. shop. And I heard... Well, that's Big Bang Hank. But I said Sylvie Robinson's son was living big... Off of all that money, and I heard that the studio was closed. It was dirty, abandoned. Well, there's only just, one left. They just let the the, the original studio just ride out. Mm. They didn't care. There's only one left now. Like you know, it's just the sun. Yeah, they, it's a boy band, man. But like hip hop, man, it's, it's it's touched so many things, man. We watch a commercial nowadays, and you're like, wow, hip hop influenced, and you got dudes with a low rider, his hat to the side, delivering pizza. What makes it? Dead right there, like we're, we're, right. we're disco, right? Right, hip hop is disco. Mm -hmm. It's what? become with the coonery mm -hmm. is just crazy. When Where did you think it went wrong? Did it go Puff when daddy when it went the game? When it went out, you think it's his fault that yeah. it went pop or it's going yeah. pop before that? It, it, it went pop before that. I, bl I blame Hammer, oh, yeah. I blame Hammer, Hammer? and Hammer? young Hammer? and young I'm like Hammer though, bitch. He him out of it. Hammer nah, took care man. of the hood. No, he didn't. Yo, B. Not when he was dead, dancing B. for chicken in KFC commercials. Yeah, but he cooned it out. He went broke taking care of the hood. He cooned it out. Hey, fed. he Damn. had good intentions. He was the first dude who did that. Leave him. Yeah, I, I mean, I know people did it, but I, I can't. I can't. I, res Listen, I respect his I intentions. Took people out the hood, Joe. But gave him jobs, Joe. Fed him, Joe. But yo, he came in the game trying to diss. Run L Beastie Boys, even though the Beastie Boys are first to me, but he, he came in the game dissing them. And then when people came at him, he went, What is he coming at me for? Because I'm doing my thing? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. You forgetting? Listen, leave you him forgetting? Out. You know yeah, what? I, I put got, I got a, place. You know what? I, put I got respect place. for him. It's, but it's the cornery, man, the yeah. cornery helped. And, and st the machine saw the cornery in him, tap dancing with the big pants and all that, da -da 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 to the side. It was like, Hey, we can do something like that. Let's get another dude and cool him out. So, and so, throw him in that lane. In that, that lane? You know what? He never cooned. I've you know never seen him cool. Sir Mixon like had a lot of joints before the I Love Big Butts thing. Yeah. And he was like that dude for the for that Seattle Washington area. He made money. He was on the you know, he street He's level. Brother, he made what he made one coony ass record like that and it blew up and everybody thinks that's was that was his lane. Yo, he wasn't that dude. He was a pioneer though. Right. I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not throwing dirt on him. Hammer, I know it hurts you to say it, but that dude is a pioneer, B. Well, you can't front on Hammer. Can't front oh, on over him. Hand. The dance His steps place in history that, is solidified. It's not, yo, years and years. They're going to be talking about Hammer. They still using his dance steps to this day. Well, that's nothing to be happy about. He ain't the, we ain't talking about lyrics or nothing, but I'm talking about his place in hip hop. He made history, Joe. Yeah, but I don't think a pioneer out of, out of Oakland. Can't over touch this, man. He's a pioneer, they come first dog. With MC Hammer is a pioneer. Nobody who's dancing like Hammer around like that. Well, mm. well nobody. Not, he that's and, then, and then you had Puffy's. Then he opened the door for dudes like that. You can't fool him. Me, the first he, was BJ, he wasn't our acquired taste. He was James Brown. I get what you're saying. He yeah, can't. He wasn't our acquired taste. He, we grew up on certain, but yeah, I'm trained Hammer. Man. I'm trained Hammer, man. Yeah. For 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 Will Smith and Redhead Kingpin. I can't no, find a Will Smith here, no, bro. No, no, nope. I keep Will Smith. I'm keeping Will Smith. I'm keeping Will Smith. Him, okay, bro. Redhead Kingpin? No. no. He's a foot. Yeah, yeah. Redhead, who is he? Who he's I, I'm surprised you remember. He's a, yeah, he's a do the right thing. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. He's Shut up. up. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. He's a big in the West Coast. Not really. He was, yeah, he was a local yeah, dude. He was a local yeah, dude. Yeah, he was, I when I was on the West Coast, I was in Hawaii. Yo, he was the man out there. I won't count him for nothing. I'm like, it's like, at least I'm surprised you remember. Young MC. Yeah, yeah. Garbage. I think it's a they, 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 they to me I thought that those those names because they helped with the watering down of things and they made to they where they made the suburbs and the the, the other people the man and the the, the suburbs yeah. like it, it because it was safe. No, it was, it was non threatening. You no, can, it was safe. You can hear it on Z one hundred. Right, because it was safe, and they liked it. And then they the machine seen that, mm. so they opened the doors and they looked for more safe Negroes. With so, some so, watered down catchy tunes so, so, young MC, to help so, the thing. If you didn't, if the world he's didn't the have godfather these, to Soldier Boy. Young all MC. right, so if the world didn't have the um, 
MC Hammer's to open the door for the Coons, will the world be the way it is? Mm. I'm saying they doing what maces? today they doing what Hammer did you back you in the day. Mace? No, they're not. Who's doing what Hammer did back in the day? All now, of them. Now. All these rappers Brown. buying horses and yeah. all that dumb stuff. Oh, not, not talking about his expenditures and, his, that, and doing that nonsense. Yeah. That's that's not well, that's not what we're talking about. There's no relevance in that conversation in the conversation. But Chris Brown, yeah, Chris Brown is doing that. He's yeah. He's, he's, I don't know if he's a singer. They want to say he's a hip-hop artist, but he's not. He's a singer. He's categorized he, as hip-hop. But he's not. He's yeah. a singer. He came yeah. in the game as an R&B singer. categorized as um, hip-hop. Hey, right, yeah, and she she's a pop star. She's not hip-hop. She's a pop star. She won a hip-hop award. Which is blasphemy. That's what I'm saying, man. It's, it's, it's over. It's, it's over. over. It's, you know, it's, I love the art form. I love hip-hop because, like I said, Just we grew up form. on it and with it. But it's been so watered down. It's but pure as form. It went from fight the power to... Just hold on, we're going on. <laughs> yeah. Fight the power. <laughs> we went from fight the power. Mother, come in, John Wayne. To, I get my eyes on you. you. Left your mark on <laughs> me. So horrible. Don't believe I'm the hype. Saying. We left Chuck. We left Chuck. We didn't want Chuck anymore. We wanted glamour and glitz. You wanted flavor, Flav. People wanted more flavor and less Chuck. And, and we got Flavor Flav all over the place all now. All over the place. And now look at us. Killing Jim in the street. Clamoring. You know, no, not, for, not, not for nothing how we talk about hip-hop's influence and how it's touched different forms of uh, media and, mm -hmm. and business, how it's touched the movie industry. Of course. Big time. Yeah. Speaking of that, mm -hmm. another something. This, this is something that caused a good uh, debate and good conversation. N.W.A. Straight out of Compton. Facts. So Coming out next week. Can't mm -hmm. wait. Classic album. Can't wait to see. Classic group. Classic group. Where would the world be without them? Right. <laughs> Check this swing of a swing in that whole. I don't know about thing you, but those guys were scaring me, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Check this out, though. I was reading this little article the other day, and it mentioned that, like, that era before when they came out, mm -hmm. '88, '89. Yeah. Probably getting me hard body, yeah. right? Can't yeah, rest. just don't understand. Can't rest. The second album, by all means, necess any means necessary. These mm -hmm. joints coming out with that had some street, but had some conscious, conscious mixed yeah. up things. Is boom, things was yeah. And then Ray came on the scene. It was just suck it, yeah, yeah whatever. No, 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 no. And they bought and it. And what happened in that 89, 90, or rest of that other other stuff? Kind of just you ate the cereal, girl. He drank the Kool Aid. No, the, the, Listen, they brought that violence, baby. Right. Now, and it killed the I conscious I don't want to get into it. It killed the conscious movement. Really? I don't want to get into it, but your man, Easy E, was known to be shaking hands with certain presidents and Republicans. I think there was no, a bit no, of an agenda there, you, but you, I don't want to even get into it. Listen, listen, you're going, you're going too left with it. No, he's not no. known for that. What? Not like he was, no, he's known for being a street dude really? who started a group up. He got to a level where he got invited to a Republican dinner at the White House. So don't, you're making it the way you're saying it is like he was he took off his lokes and had a no. three piece pinstripe suit on. No, what I'm just saying. No, no. The way you're saying it, you're, no, you're they, spinning they, it the wrong they way. They sent him a contribution campaign to his house. Right. To they go thought to they dinner. thought Eric Wright was a senator. Eric Wright. They sent it to his house, so he said yeah. And when he came and showed up the door, he said I'm Eric Wright. See the way you're spinning, you're spinning it, and you're gonna misconstrue things. Because I, I know the way you like to go. You think they invited them? They got secret handshakes. It was yeah, a yeah, hidden see, agenda. Like we're gonna think Illuminati pump now. violence through you, through your yeah. music. Yeah. Like they pump heroin through, you know. Well, they I, did do that. I, and, well, they did you know do that. Yeah, you know, they might not have directly was, called. Yeah. Let's say, let's write easy, easy thing. Fetch. But in a I'm roundabout way, that's kind of what happened. Because as they took off, and think about their second album, which I read in that thing. The second album was, there was no After Police or No Expression, so which the only two records that had any kind of conscious thought on that first NWA album. The rest of it was straight. Yeah. To street. It was straight street. I loved it, but it was straight street. Yeah. The second album, where they was going hard on East, with, at, at Ice Cube, mm -hmm. was, they was cutting off heads. They was taking around the corner, making... Yep. Women sucking, sucking, yeah, whatever. Yeah, no she swallowed. <laughs> exactly. And what Cube, Cube went over here, mm -hmm. hooked up with Chuck and them, and he had some kind of, you know, conscious thoughts in his music, which is another Word. classic album. Word. 
So then he came out with Wicked. As we applaud, <laughs> he still had, he had he good had, subject matter with thought in Vladimir his music. Got to show their teeth. Now yeah. I'm gonna be brief. Be, come on, B. He yeah. was he was giving you that street joint with some knowledge. Was, his whole joint was called street knowledge, but not for nothing. As as NWA became in, they they turned the game and just you know. So it's like it's like a it's a gift and a curse with NWA. Yeah, still to this so day. So do we blame Ice the West Coast for the violence? Hip hop. I blame the government, but you can go with it. No, you can bring that on. You can bring that. You can bring that on KRS, <laughs> the South South Bronx. I got into that earlier today when I got into a debate. It's with the first somebody. rap I ever heard say nine millimeter in the rap. Yeah. Goes yeah. bang. Yo, listen. <laughs> Did he bring the guns in here? I'd rather put a pistol to your head and try to burst it. Mm. Yeah, on the album cover, him and Scott. Did KRS One bring the guns into hip hop? With the, I'm thinking hard. I'm thinking about guns and hip hop, and he's like the first with the gun on. It. No, wasn't it IC? No, it was them. It was no, them. No, Did no, Ken no, the no, conscious no. teacher bring the guns into hip hop? That's the first one I clearly remember. Yeah, shoot somebody in the rap. Criminal minded. <clears throat> it, it was. It was there. So I'm you not trying to. Do, I'm uh, like, yeah, I'm sitting here recollecting. I'm just, I'm just going through. Yeah, you know, you right. might be so, right. Like I'm saying, and, uh, no, I'm not. I'm right. I'm right. Wait, 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 wait. That wait, power wait. album. Let's do it like exactly. this. Like, they had the gun on the table like this. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, the, the gun on the table. The thing. Yeah, just yeah, like that. Yeah, so we had to do the lights for that one. My Uzi go bang. Yeah. Yeah, you, mean, you, you might be right, Robert. You might be right. If you pop that stuff in the brush, you might not live. I mean, Queen's oh, that was, he was killing people. Clearly, yo, he murdered the whole rap label. He murdered the whole borough. <laughs> murdered so, the whole know, borough. All right, so it. Chris, I mean, you know, Chaos One brought the guns into hip hop. Yes, he did. So, like I was, you know, to get to it, the it's a gift and a curse. N.W.A. and Chaos One, you know, they 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 were a gift and a curse. But the first song with the hood. KRS one two. Because he's broke. Oh, all right. I said right. KRS and NWA. They 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 came in with like landmark joints, classic joints, changed the game, but then messed up the game to a degree. It's like it's more a gift and a curse. NWA man. Yo, but think about mm-hmm. it. No more NWA. They the Manchurian Think Canada about it. Be. The first street song came with the message. When he was talking about like hood life, yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, but yeah, they, you, you know, I mean, yeah, I know it was hard, but they were talking about a lot of the homeless, more right, the the homeless, homeless hey, you know, yeah, yeah, and, dirty um, streets, the situation, you know, car at home. They, look, I mean, they, they definitely didn't spray up on 149th Street in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do that. They didn't do that. <laughs> no. um, KRS One did. Yeah, KRS shot, shot the house park. Yeah, I mean, Scott pulled up in the all black BMW. Yeah, yeah. So, I know what you did. <laughs> the, 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 the P is free. The crack costs money. Yeah. First person I know I mentioned crack. You know how I mean? No, crack it up. Yeah. Come on, let's crack it up. Thank you. Thank that you. was a uh, master summary. But KRS One no, definitely, somebody else. definitely brought the racket, the up. violence in hip hop. I'm glad you remember yeah, that because yeah. I told people. Come on, let's crack it up. Crazy. No, no, it was real. It was real. It was real. You rapped about cocaine, and like, it, it was it was a celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's smoke crack. crack. This is gonna be a good I night. Believe it on this video. is gonna be a good night. White line. <laughs> it was, it was white line. Great. White line. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. You baby, sausage. Baby. It was chill, no. chill out playing that game. Yeah. White line. Come on, let's crack it up. Let's crack it up. It's gonna be a party tonight. I don't right? know. What? I don't know yeah. the what. I don't know the elemental oh. table, the periodic table, but I remember cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a real record, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, wow. that, was, so, that so, describes the eighties so right there. And one turn can thank Easy and NWA, and can thank KRS right, let's and Scott, and down. then at the same hand be like, "Damn you." Like, break it down. So maybe the 70s, give us the thank yous. Break the thank yous down. For, no, no, no. Um, let's break it down. So the seventies, it was a, it was a larva, right? Oh no, people were getting killed in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hip hop, eighties, it just started flapping its wings. Yeah, it, it, it started stretching. It was growing. It, and come eighty five and, and older, it, it felt itself. It's like you know what? It, was, it pumped it its was chest almost out. You know beautiful, what? but it was just a little too arrogant about itself. Would you say that? Come 88, 89, it got real arrogant with itself. His, his chest was full, fully puffed out. Flew like, too what? high, man. But you know who's the ultimate dudes high. who brought the real violence to the game? You know who's the real gang banging of the game? Shout out to Soul Train. 
I know that's where the Crip started at, right? Oh, no. Somebody got stomped out outside of Soul Train taping. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's it. They formed the Crips. That's re- Google it. Oh, yeah. They, that's, that, oh, so Google outside it. Outside their studio in the Outside second? of Soul Train. Where they robbed the guy for they, his coat. They stomped the dude out, stomped him, and they came back and they formed the Crips. We're not going to have this anymore. Okay, so Soul Train ain't part of hip-hop. Soul Train so, is a part of the violence, man. So we going to sign They brought the, the biggest gang in America we gonna sign into ball, existence. So, and they started a Soul Train taping. That's they probably cool. was playing a bunch of hip hop samples that night. That's what Don Cole is. That would be James Brown. Right? Absolutely, James Brown. Listen, that's what Don Cole is. Crazy. Mm. The little funky James. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that uh, they the dancers the and Soul Train hey. was a, a lot of people got they shot. Was regular, they was regular people dancing before they put on a those lot of people dancing. got shot off the big payback record. Wow. Big, big, I thought it would be revenge. A lot of people got killed. I thought it was the yeah, boss. I thought it was the boss. Boss did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> payback is hot, but yeah, the yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about mm-hmm. with Fred Wayne? That's not yeah. harder than yeah. Nah, nah. The payback yeah. is the hardest record I've ever heard from James Brown. Get down with my girlfriend. The hardest. I don't know karate, but I know, but I know James He's Brown. Crazy. He was rapping. Yeah, he, blacked he blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> he blacked out. <laughs> Revenge. Get down with my girlfriend. That ain't right. You <laughs> black. You <laughs> black. Are you crazy? Wow, it was wild personal. <laughs> James Brown brought the violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, word. Okay, so my okay, James Brown. Yeah, yeah, James Brown. Brown. The Karis what? Uh, <laughs> James All the samples. All the samples of James Brown. Those, those, are, samples, those are just <laughs> a smidgen. A smidgen of where hip hop is touched. Man, That's the movie is hot shit. as hell right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hip hop, baby. Hip hop has got us hot. <laughs> Back to the movie. We're going to hell for the show. Yeah, yeah okay. Where yeah. hip hop has touched the movies. What else, you know, whatever. Look, look. Shout out to Crush Groove. Crush Groove. Wild Style. Wild Style. There wasn't no gun shooting in that either. No, no violence. You, no, Russell, I mean, Russell got beat up. Come on, he got roughed up. He got yeah, roughed up. And Wild Style, the they yeah, pulled out the shoddy in Wild Style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight the to gun the, brothers, right? Eight when to they, the mother. They came out the club and they said, yo, eight they, to the mother. He said, you seen it on TV show? Yo, you are on the radio. I seen <laughs> eight to the mother. I seen the Ronald yeah. Isley on stage with a with a with a um a Tommy gun in the 1960s. <laughs> was he with Parliament at the time? No, he, that, he no, 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 no. That was no, that's no. uh that's uh the Go for Your Guns album when yeah. he did that. That was um, in the 70s, baby. Yeah, that's when they were rocking for a little history, bit, man. Yo, so you turn on the AC, man? Yeah, hell, yeah. You turn that AC on. You know, y'all just want to hear the AC humming. It's <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I saw a trailer for one of the next Marvel movies coming out in 2016, Deadpool. Uh, and the character, he's on the bridge chilling, and he's singing Shoot, Salt and Pepper. It's crazy how hip, hip-hop well, is everywhere, about, You man. think about Hollywood. I thought you were going with like... Well, Hollywood, Latifah, the movie things... How they the, broke through. Yeah, they, they're, they're big stars in the game. Deaf. Who, is he still in the country? Yeah, he's back in the country uh, under a different name. Um, but La- look, Latifah, she's got a couple of hundred million dollars. Will, under her Will belt. Smith. Will Smith has numerous blockbusters. Who's on his the best belt. actor to ever come out of hip hop? Um, Will, I'm, Queen Latifah, I'm and most La- Def. Latifah, because your girl Eve is crap. Those three. Is the LL Cool J a good actor? Nah. He's he's passable, but like I said, Will Smith, he's Queen consistent. Latifah, and most Def, because those yeah, three. in that order. Queen and, and Will have Oscar nominations. They did their thing. Most deaf, critically acclaimed. He got well, a couple of award nomination things. You know, he's big black like Africa. He's, he's on. Big he's like just Africa. on a whole nother. He did his. He did he's working. He's, he's legend. incredible. Ali. He's, he's a great. He's a good actor. He's, he's a solid. Incredible. A very solid and a, and a, a, a nominated award nominated actor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And Latifah is too. She's got Oscar nominations, Tony nominations. She got a couple of blockbusters on her belt. She had like three hundred million dollar movies back to back. When she did the joint with um, Steve Martin and them, the Chicago, all that. The, yo, uh, Marjorie Rouge, Latifah, Marjorie Rouge. Most deaf. And most deaf. Real actors with real acting skills. Yo, I love Cool J's. Mm. He's, nah, I can't. Mm. He's entertaining. Mm. How you feel about DMX? I nah. like DMX, though. Nah. DMX, how you like Common? Common. Common. Common's a good Common actor. Common comes in four. Very good actor. He comes Very good four. actor. Somebody I'm missing. Very I good see. Actor. I like DMX. I see. Time. He yeah, still does the game. He see. has improved. You, he's a good actor, but he's only played one role. Yeah, a cop. outside of the cop. A cop. Yeah, 
Other than that, he was a sh- drug dealer in his little yeah. small movie group. Bits. I want to shoot you so. But I, th- I hear what you saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Jack I City. Yeah, I want to shoot you so I bad. I can't give DMX props because yeah. all he did was play basically himself. Yeah, every movie. So, so yeah, the two, three movies he was in, he played him. So that's really not a stretch yeah, for yeah, acting yeah, 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 yeah. credentials. Hey, that's why I give most depth the props because he played for everything. Yeah, he played a doctor. He played the first one. He played a straight pop You ain't gonna let pop on that. No, 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 no. Who? No. No. no, he was pretty good. No, 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 no he wasn't. Excuse you. No, he was juice. He was Excuse not you. He was not good at. What did you say? Terrible. Tupac was one of the greatest, greatest songwriters we've ever seen in hip hop. But I don't feel his acting. No, acting. Was Sorry. No, acting was horrible. Please um, don't kill me. But it's yeah. Tupac wasn't a great actor to me. Not at all. I didn't like Piccolo in a different world. I didn't like the dude in Poetic Justice. No. I didn't like yeah, Gridlock. I didn't like Gridlock. Yeah. I didn't like I didn't like Traffic Jam. I didn't like Horrible. Above the Rim. I didn't I just wasn't Above the a rim. fan of Tupac Above acting. The rim. No. I'm a fan of Tupac music. What's the one with the Mickey Mickey Rock? What's the one with the Mickey Rock? Gridlock. 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 Traffic Jam. Yeah. One, Gridlock. Of Gridlock. one of the ones played the Dope Pete. That's why Slick Records is Above the Rim. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. 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 Basura. No. Tupac might be one of the worst hip hop actors. Yeah, cause I, I'm a, I like Sorry. him and Ice Cube. We, us three, we oh, really? Cuba's gotten better. Cuba's gotten better. better. He's better than Pop. He's better than Pop. Yeah. But I give him props to look. <laughs> he's with Eve. He's with Eve. Cause Cuba Thank got you. into <laughs> Thank you. He's with Eve. and put yeah. out movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, yeah, good yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Profitable movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's a he's a major player in Hollywood. So he gets props for that. No, I give it to him since um, he's players the club. He's the one that's always do so. the same dude. It's the angry day day. I mean, yeah, angry. But it was Craig. Mm-hmm. But he's the number one film producer. That's what I'm saying. I, oh yeah, he gets his oh, yeah. most props for his production. Oh yeah, and, and his, his Q, yeah. uh, um, Ice Cube production or, or Cube or whatever. Don't, yeah. don't he brought a lot of people out. Yeah. He brought Chris Play Tucker that. out, Cat yeah. Williams out, Terry Crews out, Mike Epps out. He gave Cat he gave, Williams. He gave yeah. those guys yeah. their yeah. first yeah. start. Yeah. Yeah. So Pippen, he gets a big he gets big kudos not for his acting ability, but for what he's his production. His, you know, company for putting yeah. the product out and being a major play in the he's, game, he's, he gets much props for that. Props, yeah. but he you know. can't act out of a paper. Nah, his back. acting is uh, out of a paper. He back. just plays. He can play the, the the regular dude from the so hood dude. That's a, what that's would a, the world be without Triple X? About hip hop actors, they, they, <laughs> made, they made a major play. Will Hollywood stuff. still be surviving? There'll be no Vince Diesel. I don't think. Vince well, hip hop will Hollywood be the same without hip hop influence on it? Nah. Or will we still be getting a bunch of um, ETs and Rambo's? Rambo. No Fast and, and the Furious. There'll be no Fast and the Furious. They'll probably they be shot Ludacris. Ludacris is a decent actor too. He had a couple of good roles when he was on um, Law and Order one episode. He had a couple of good roles. Good. He's a pretty good actor. Ludacris is okay. highly versatile. All right. I see. Did you see Rock and Roller? No. All right. Then you. That's the best I've seen him act. Like I said, he's Did you see Rock and Roller? He's good. You seen Bow Wow? How do you like Bow Wow? He's hard. No, no, that's not no. He's not on my. He's with the Eve. But you know, that one. One thing I give him credit for, he can get over playing a young boy for the rest of his career because he's like a little fella and he looks like a baby face kid. So he, so he, so he, so he, he has a niche. So he can play a high school kid for like ever. So he's the fresh <laughs> savage. He's the fresh savage. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. basically. All right, that's good. Fresh savage of hip hop. Yeah, that's that's funny. But yeah, you know, he, he's had his lane. He, you know, he ran it for whatever. So yeah, running. like I said, there's no hip hop movie. What, there's a no hip hop movie? No, there's no hip hop in movies. There's no, there's no culture in the movies without hip hop. I mean, take out your best, dude. Right? So There'll be a lot of diehards. If it was no There'll be a lot of diehards. How would the ghetto be? You know, right? How would the ghetto be functioning right now without any hip hop? <sighs> what do you think we'd be doing if it was no hip hop? There's not enough like soft people out here. <laughs> not enough, not enough yeah. basketball to go around. Not enough. It's not yeah. enough. Yeah. Brothers would be playing baseball. Sports well, would be. Yeah, there'll be a lot, lot more baseball, sports activities. Yeah, I mean. hip hop yeah. has even had a good, a big influence on sports. Yeah, being that all those still yeah. young athletes coming from the streets. So you mean, what, what, how do you think the, the athletes? Music in baseball? Like that, what about the athletes, hip hop and full stem. How do you think these guys? How would David Stern feel without hip hop? Because yeah. without hip hop, because he tried to change the NBA, he, he wouldn't have had to enforce a dress code <laughs> thing <laughs> without <laughs> hip hop. Right. So hip hop made hip hop made David Stern put in. A dress code there you so go. because of AI. AI. <laughs> and a few others. It wasn't just AI. It was a few others. Like, yeah. It's a bunch of old teams, man. Now it's AI. No, not just AI. It was a few because it was uh, Spreewell and 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight hours before Spring Road. Eight hours before Spring Road. Eight hours hooded it out. Spring Road would hooded it out. Because he'd have on sweaters and whatever. He ain't hood. Be a bunch of afros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With no sideburns? <laughs> pork chops. With no sideburns? Afros and pork chops. Uh, they will be twisted. You know, Wake up in the morning not to comb their hair. Call it the look, style. At, look at hip hop's influence on, on radio. How there is no radio for hip hop. There is no there is radio for hip hop with the Hot 97s and 105. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying their influence on, on morning shows with Ed and Dre, mm -hmm. one of the first to have their own syndicated oh, morning right, show. Right, and they right, were hip hop. Sway yeah, Tech. Sway and Tech after them <laughs> yeah. on the West Side. Yeah. So, so you know they, 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 they hip hop had an influence on commercial radio. Who's your man that got kicked off the air like twenty times? Starbuck Star Wow. Starbuck Wow. Well, you know what? If there was no hip hop, he, he would still have a job. He yeah. won't claim hip hop as much as hip hop did help him, but he won't claim it as much. He gives it his props for very nothing. I tell you what, he's without, kind of without hip hop, there'd be no Angie Martinez, and I'd be very sad. About That's that. what I'm saying. Hip hop she might be an R&B disc jockey. Yeah. On the Southside South Station, yeah. on the Freestyle yeah. Music Station. Yeah. But that, that's what I'm saying. Hip hop voice. had a big yeah. influence on beautiful voice. Had a big influence yeah, on I commercial like radio. I like it. I like Ratchet. Yeah. yeah. See, then you go loose with the adjective. This guy, folks, is very loose with his adjective. Anyway, <laughs> so, you know, it's just <laughs> hip hop's influence on the sneaker industry. The, the clothing, fashion uh, industry. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm trying geez. to tell them. Because think yeah. about it. Without the hip-hop influence on the sneaker game, I don't think Sonny Vaccaro and them would be pushing for those those sneakers deals for those athletes as much. Right. Would Jordan be Jordan? Without hip-hop and Spike Lee? Would Spike Lee knew to, knew to put that hip-hop influence on those commercials? Mm, would this dude want to turn his nose up there? Right, because he's a sucker. You heard it right, folks. Jordan's Michael a Jordan's a sucker. Wow. He's a sucker. I, I, that's that's pretty wow. much not a with this whole group. Up the here. hood gives Nobody. him way too much love than he really deserves. Because you know what? The real people in the hood don't. Right. I, I I've been said it. I can't stand. It. They ain't buying them I don't, shoes. I, don't, I stopped I don't, buying them listen, shoes a long time. Listen, we come on at nine o'clock. Fuck Jordan. Fuck Michael Jordan. Right. Wow. Pat Ewing all day, baby. Not wow. Wow. I'm just I'm not a fan of arrogant rich Negroes. Sorry, who deny and, and who throw shade at his own people, B. Won't even take a pick with a nigga. He throw shade, B. And hip hop had a lot to do with his, him, him being him. Yeah. I mean, he, he'll probably the be baggy you know, shorts. Man. That's hip hop. Probably that's some, Michigan. You know, some, that's Michigan. It was Michael before Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. Michigan. Because they short, said short they got it from Michael. You know what I mean? But they wanted to wear their shorts on Michael here. Michael did it before Michigan. So, watch so hip hop. Basically, they just influenced the whole damn world. It did. That's what I'm getting at. But what well, would the world be without it? If you subtract it, if you it'd just be, it'd be a go back to 1974. Boring. That's what you do. A lot go back more to boring. A Playing the OJs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Disco. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's fine. Very oh, stale. Actually, the music was the music was beautiful. Yeah, it was. The music was top notch. Before hip hop came along, are we going to talk and, about that? And chopped it up. Hip hop up. killed the live band. Even care. though we had live band groups, yeah, it kind of killed a lot. Of it led, it yeah. led to the demise of instruments, of, of yeah. instrumentation, <laughs> and, music, right. and yeah. people learning to play. You know what I mean? It did yeah. that. It took the love out of music, man. It you did. can't say I love you, baby, on a record. You're a sucker, right. and I'm gonna take your girl soft. with my money. Right? You saw. Soon as you go to the club, I'm taking your girl. Well, I'm gonna break your relationship up. I thought that's what hip hop is about, braggadocious and yeah, you but you, it, it, damn, you wanna break my family up? It was about being because I don't make a lot of money. You want to break my family up? Yeah, Chris Brown talking about you. <laughs> yes, just got rich, took a belt, <coughs> nigga, bitch. Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? Why'd you take that man? You breaking that family up? Yeah. <laughs> right. It, it, it's true. It's it's funny, but in the same turn, it brought masses together. We're very. Hey, I saw it myself. I forget what year. Me and you. Was it me and you went to the Studio 54? Yeah. Old school. Mm -hmm. Leaders of the new school. It was a, it was a native tongue show. Oh. I'm my sitting there God. like, what's up with all these Frenchies and Europeans up in this about, building, man. yo? Pins so you telling me Teddy Pendergrass ain't have a bunch of Frenchies and Europeans in the crowd? No. He all had, together, black and white ladies passing out? He had a Satan? Rick James? Nah, maybe yeah. Tom Jones, but not, not Teddy. Nah, you Rick telling me James. Rick James ain't have black and white women in the crowd? Yo, he naked. Did. Yeah, he did. Rick, yeah. But think about it. Hip hop had the young. When we were and hip hop was, was like dressing that. like him. Yeah, Melly Mel and, yeah, and Fury Five. Yeah. Huh? 
Yeah. They were bugging out. Yeah. RRP Jam Master J, I say this every day. Yeah. They got for him. Glow in the Wiz kids, they were dressing up. Glow in the Wiz kids. Dressing they were dressing up. So Sonic Force is more Parliament style thing. Oh, they they were, yeah. It was uh, nasty. It was stink. And none of us would wear those clothes. You would wear the streets. You would wear a diaper on the street. I was. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to do that now. Thumb in the bank. No, they, they do. No, they still do. They still do. They still do. There's 60 year old men wearing a diaper. And Sir Nose costume. Hey, that's funny because they probably need the diaper for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's crazy. They're a long show. But you know, I'm saying, they're <laughs> a long show. <laughs> as this might young, be holding up as well. Yeah. In, in, in 89 <laughs> through 92, the young street dudes, they wasn't partying with the like, hippie type uh, Okay, so Frenchies. Yeah, because remember, paint, I was paint in there paint, and you were looking at me, I, I was bucket painted. Because his face was priceless. He's looking around, French couple came up to. Share, well, we have the night. Share doobie. I'm like, do you like and I'm like, oh, oh, you know I'm what's like, crazy? What? No, I'm hunted out. Oh, like, you know what's crazy? He doesn't understand. And jazz musicians was doing that in the 1920s. Yeah, yeah but, but that wasn't a young crowd. It wasn't oh, a young. That was the they were all shooting needles, in white, black, and white. Let's shoot this needle. Let's put this Mal Davis record on. Yeah, but we gonna get high. But so black was, and white, baby. They, right, but that was an adult crowd. It wasn't the urban young kids. No, we we the late teenagers to the early 20 crowd. We were jazzing it up in those they was playing jazz. juke joints and uh, stuff. Jazz, they should call it juke joints. Uh, right, but that was, yeah, that, yeah, was yeah, yeah, that was an adult crowd. That was an adult crowd hanging Telling up. me it was no underground clubs where black and whites were going together. No, they had speakeasies. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Are telling me no, that? No, they got speakeasies no, all over right. the place. So but they were I'm talking old music was bringing black and white together. But we were talking about like an older, not older, but young crowd in European and hip hop. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, it was crazy. crazy people together, but you know, it that, also that ripped a lot of It shocked him. It was a culture shock. It was, for him. It was fresh. Every, the first year with Leaders in the New School and the whole thing to to him. All of them was in there. And I'm straight off the block. Like, I wasn't even feeling Leaders in the New School because they wasn't hot enough. I'm off the block online, like, with the school fan. Like, What's all this? He's laughing, like, yo, this is what it is. And I'm like, yo, this is this, crazy. This is where you know, hip hop is going. Yo, and so I told you know, him straight off that the block, day, like, right. this is where hip hop is going. And it's crazy right now. When it, it turned it got the block into international stars. Today, if you don't have, if you're a rapper and you don't have a singing verse in your record, yeah, yeah, you're not getting no radio play. You're soft. You have no radio play. Wow, it's crazy. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you even bigger. Look how big hip hop has got. It's got neo Nazis rapping. And okay, you, and you know what? I got a problem with that. <laughs> I'm serious. Right, right, I mean, right. here it is. This, this is a black art form. Yeah, and neo Nazis you, you is feeding it back to me? in their music. Yeah, yeah. You hate no more. You know what I'm saying? Hate no more. You, you, you feeding it back to me? No, no. I, I got a problem with that. They're trying to take that. everything. That's, That's, uh, well, no, they, they're taking it. You know, have you not heard about Iggy? And oh, they can have it. I can take this. Knock more. You can't have my nuts. They've taken our music already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Iggy. It took everything else. Knock more. Sam Smith. They make, right, him, I got, I got they make him sound like he's the best R and B singer oh, ever to touch the mic all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Remember Richard Pryor said that? He said, Y'all took everything. He said, Why are you hanging on to your nuts? He said they took everything else, man. You know what I'm saying? Richard Pryor said I'm that. I'm gonna pose thing. a question to you, bro. Is the Beastie Boys hip hop? Nah, nah, they are. They are. Thank you. I, I look at him as a fraud. I think they pimped the game. They used the game. They they were they were they cool. was in the Negro clubs. No, they wasn't. Yes, they were smashing forties. No, they wasn't. The were. Not before they not before. When they, before they what? before Rick Rubin and whoever got a hold of them, they were CBGBs. They wasn't in the hood. What? They, they wasn't they in the were. fever. They were. They were brought to the fever. They were some of the biggest moments in hip hop history. Once. They were brought to the fever. They listen, were a tool. Listen, no. they were a tool used by Rick Rubin, Russell I Simmons. Don't see so. They were, because yeah, before that, the Bronx. they was in CBGB. They, the they were in punk huh? band, B. right? In CBGB. And punk when Rick Rubin, when Rick Rubin saw them, he said, "Y'all, I'm gonna use you cats. Let's do this." <clears throat> they put on their costumes. They took off. They 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 just they could have had on blackface. They were just an hour away from putting on blackface. Wow. They put on a costume <laughs> with their Volkswagen <laughs> sound <laughs> in their neck. <laughs> and, and, and shucked and jived oh, and cooned up on the thing with no sneak to him, Brooklyn. See, hey, hey. I go on my rant. And people gave them mad love, yo. See, when I go we, on my and, rant. and we embraced them. 
We are, it was something new to us, and the hood embraced it. It was but like they Drake used Durst. us. They man. got mad drunk, party wild. They used us because after that first album, after we got open on 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 um Paul Revere, that joint, like yo, that's dope. Yeah. After we got open on that, we they they, they said, yeah, y'all open, y'all oh y'all love this Paul's boutique. Ah, we out, we out here. We going back to doing our band. Peace. We out of here. Paul's we didn't hear boutique. nothing. We didn't hear nothing from them after that. Right after that, Paul's boutique. But that wasn't hip hop. Was Paul's it, boutique wasn't that wasn't hip-hop? getting no hip hop spins. I wasn't getting no wrong. It was getting mad underground that, spins. That wasn't getting no love on no P Fine show, no 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 Mr. Magic show, Classic. no Red Alert show, no stupid no Tom Special K and show. That wasn't getting no love on them shows. That wasn't on the grind. You didn't hear dudes in the corner with their radio pumping nothing from Paul's boutique. Ah, they used the game. Now. They were a tool to use the game, yeah. and they did just what they did. They came so through. License in. to ill. We got us open. Hey, yo, we made 10 million off y'all. Peace, we out of here. Yo, Keep your insurance. So bring in, bring in LL. They did the NAACP thing to us. So bring in LL. Okay, so so LL got his tape to one of them and he brought it to Rick. So that gives them a complete pass <laughs> yeah, for that? That, that they, get a, <laughs> they get a pass for that? They brought in the most influential guy in hip hop. Goat? Yeah. And they brought the goat? Yeah, so did, they, did they bring the goat or did the goat seek they them to get them to take over the goat? Thank you. They could have said, Bob, chill, get, shorty. And that gets them a pass? They don't get them a pass. They don't get them a pass. They've been in. They've been on Frank Def Jam, Fresh Fest, and all that. They've been in, son. Like, you, you're not hate. It's, it's, it's not hate. It is. It is. It is. But then after that, after that run, a couple of year run, they took the Who's more about the Beastie Boys or Vanilla Ice? The Beasties are more hip hop than that. That's all. I, that's it. The, but that's to it. me, they, to me, to me, I looked at it as they pimped the game. B. They were told by Rick Rubin. Cause hell, look at it. Where did Rick Rubin go after that? No, one? no, no. Wait a minute. Cause there was a black ghostwriter that wrote that for Vanilla Ice. Who Vanilla Ice had recently had. The yeah, band. yeah, but he still wasn't hip hop. So the hell with him. Yeah. But look, but where did, where did Rick Rubin go after his little run? He stopped. He sold his share to Russ. He went, he to, went to back to his roots. He went to the black the rock. rock. He went to the Black Crows and Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Rock music, exactly. He went to his roots, yeah. where he was comfortable at. And he ain't come back you to 99 problems. You know why he ain't come back? Because he, he got enough used money. the game. He had enough money from everybody that right. he had on that right. tour. Right, he pat boomed the game, baby. He pat boomed, he pat boomed, he pat boomed the pat game. Boomed. It is what it he is. He it yo. Pat they were there in the, the beginning. You know what Pat Boone in the game is? I'm down. I got my you know Def Jam T-shirt on, the turntable jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocky, yeah, whatever, whatever. I right. got my briefcase. Yo, Rush, you got this. I'm going back to where I, my roots. Made it for y'all. I come back maybe 20 years later and pimp y'all again. So that's what he did. Yeah, Both so, of them. So wait, that's what they money. did. So it what is what it is. He Pat Boone the game. What about you what remember what five hot beats? The Four Horsemen. So they did. They did pimp the so, game. So it is what it is, man. They gave us a little classic. Wait, 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 they wait. gave us a moment, but they pimped so the, the Red game. Hot Chili Peppers album. That they hip hop. Throw them and put them in the game. They might have some influence. Hip hop might have influenced them, but they're not hip hop. And who, who was the, who's the producer behind that? Rick Rubin. Yeah, what? Exactly. Which one exactly. The you first mean, album. You're leading into my argument. Nah. And and what was that? What was that album? First, but what was but what circuit. was that album really? It might have had a hip hop in. It was called alternative, but it was a rock album. No, the song, the song Rick, um, Rick Rubin was famous for uh, was "Suck My Kiss" from uh, from uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. All that, the, the whole album. But it's a rock album. You go to if, if there was a record store, you go <laughs> in there. It ain't gonna be in the hip hop section. Definitely. It sure as hell ain't gonna be. Go on iTunes, go in the hip hop section, you ain't gonna find no chili peppers. Cuts. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You pick up one if you want. They picked the game, y'all. It is what it is. They I give him his props. Okay, yeah, you 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 help usher in the thing, you help because you know Russell couldn't do it by himself, he needed a good Jew to back him up. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. Wow. It is it's the truth. Wow. You ain't getting in the music game if you ain't got a good Jew on your on the team. So this is the last show of Joe Depends. Hey, what will hip hop be without the Jew? We we still be where we at. We be well, in the tri state. Music they We be in the tri state. Yo, I, I, yo, R and B. It might still have T connection over there. That was the case. Nah, the, the mob would have shut that down. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I, you know, they, listen, I, I appreciate their contribution, but their contribution was a, was a, it was a fraud, B. It was a they, fraud. They, they used it, B. It wasn't a fraud. It was a fraud. Okay, you comparing them to Sugar Hill? No, okay, there's different levels of fraud. Sugar Hill was a straight fraud. 
They're not a fraud. They were a tool of Sylvia Robinson and her people. They're not a fraud. They're, they're part of fraud. history. They're part of history. Yeah. Right, part of history, but are they really as hip hop as we want to think they are? Without them, there's no there's no third base. There's, there's, I, can, I can live with that. There's no action. I can live you with that. You ain't drop a bomb. Yeah, that. exactly. There's no you, MMM. I can live with that. That's your man. No, it ain't. I like, I like, let's say Eminem is cool, but you really, really dissect his music. It's nothing I can relate to because I don't pop pills. I don't hate my mama. I don't want to chop off my baby mama's head. So I really can't relate to that. I, I might have digged a few of his cuts, but his music is really not relatable to my situation or any of my living situations for my 30 something hot. years of my life. Mm. 40 something years of my life. So I made myself yeah, 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 I know. But you know, hey, he just went, he's a good. MC or whatever he can work. He's a good you wordsmith. For this guy. No, he's a good wordsmith. I'm not taking that away from him. He can flip, flip some words. He got styles or whatever. But, eh, you, but know, you, you know, the game would survive without him. You know, who still lives a little bit. My man Everlast. But that he's another around. fraud. Dude. Yeah, he's a fraud. But that he, jump around joint was hot. No, nah, he started off with your man Ice T, right? Yeah, yeah. He was a dude. He was part of the rhyme syndicate. Yeah, he was the syndicate. Yeah, was the syndicate right? That didn't work. He transformed it to make. Jump around Irish thug music. That's his roots. Right. He had to he trans. He said, "Okay, my lane ain't working. Rhyming with the, the rhyme syndicate. Let me go into this. That worked for a minute." He said, "Okay, now I got to transform into something else." He folk became singer? Whitey Ford, a folk singer. Mm. So how 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 much I could put on him? What real what's what real <laughs> foot did he have? What 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 stability does he have in the game? He's got without the Beastie Boys, he wouldn't even try it though. I could live without that. I can live without Whitey Ford, the folk singer. You can't live without jumping around. Yeah, I could. It ain't it ain't shut my parties down. All right. They they used us, B. It that is what was, it is, B. You know, that was a fake crisscross record. They would tell you it was off the crisscross yeah, it, jump. It was on a whole jump. Right. Yeah. 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 Going to the yeah. No, yeah. listen. Yeah. They, <laughs> they gave us cool moments, but we gotta look at it what the full order really is, and don't give them too much props than they deserve because they used us. Mm. They pimped the game and used us. I don't see what Beastie They Beastie, They I did, because they're not. They, 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 listen, man, they used the game, B. I so don't see how you can't see it. What would Eminem be without hip hop in his world? He'd be probably dead in the trailer park somewhere. Because remember, he was he was popping pills. No, he was, a, he was a, living in the trailer park, getting high, doing the shrooms and all that nonsense. If pop. he wasn't no hip hop for him to be rapping to, where would all that creativity be? He'd be dead. He'd be out of here. Think about that. Without hip hop, where all that creativity be? Biggie, what would he do? Hip, yeah, hip hop helped a he lot of people. He still been on the corners. Probably alive, there's no hip hop. But he'd still be alive. If he'd be on the corner. He might. Wow! Be. <laughs> wow! Tupac two. Wow! Tupac mm. Hip-hop gave Tupac a voice. Tupac could have been a fucking teacher or something, yo. Yo, I would have been a teacher. He would have been a teacher. He would have been a teacher. He would have been a poet. He would have been a singer. He would have been something. Something. On one day, he would have been something. One day, next day, he would have been. I was, yo. Next day, he would have been. Yo. Snatching the purse. You remember back in the days, they had the comic What If? There's a whole alternative of what if hip-hop did not exist. It's like, would Biggie be alive? Tupac be alive. Scott the Rock would be alive. Scott the yeah. Rock would be alive. Well, no, no, no. That was a street thing. Mm. So who knows? Mm. Well, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe. Because he might not have been rocking with D-Nice with, uh, D that time. Yeah. If he mm. wouldn't have been that time, we wouldn't be able to help him out. Mm. So he might still be alive. Probably wouldn't have the money. For Freaky Time might yeah. still be alive. So maybe. This, this is coming to another show. Which rap, who would be alive and what's <laughs> <laughs> that? No, it's, it's all in this segment. Wait, no, hip-hop's influence yeah. is all, it's it's all, crazy, it's man. It's all the segments. It turned, it turned, like we said, back in the fashion. Yeah, it made small sighting. It, it made <laughs> multi-millionaires out of dudes making fashion on t-shirts yeah, and ugly you jeans. A, you got FUBU jeans out I have no FUBU anything. <laughs> no FUBU anything. <laughs> I was too cool, cool for FUBU. I had the velour yeah. FUBU. That was when that cool was. I think um, when they went to having Muhammad Ali face on the entire suit. And the Fat Albert suit. Like, yeah, I blame. You know what I blame? Fat Albert yeah. too. You know what I blame? I blame Will Smith. The Lacoste. He was the first one to wear the name. The Lacoste Sportif. Yeah. yeah. What? Well, so he wore a sweatsuit? Started the whole trend. Nah. Yes, nah, indeed. not Will Smith. Everybody was wearing something with a sweatsuit. Everybody was wearing Adidas suits back then. Nah, that's because of Bruce Lee. No, he didn't have yeah. a big suit. one line. Nah, no, I just sweat, Will Smith didn't start that. Everybody, Run DMC and them was wearing Adidas suits. Did my Adidas before True. Will Smith came out? So that's that, that, that's nothing. And that's what was rocking sweat suits in the hood. Yeah, Puma suits, Adidas suits, breaking them. Feel suits with rocking them. 
So that, Will Smith that's doesn't, good part of Will Smith doesn't get well, well, I said hip hop's influence. Smith is the greatest actor that ever come out of hip hop. Hip hop's influence yeah. on fashion Him is undeniable. Hip hop's influence on commercial radio is undeniable. Hip hop's influence on TV and the movies and Hollywood is undeniable. Hip hop influence on commercials and advertisement world is undeniable. No, hip hop. Hip hop's in influence world worldwide is, is undeniable. undeniable. Japan, people in Japan. That mimicking us. They don't like us because they're quite racist behind the scenes, but they mimic us to death. Listen, Black and, and, and we forget yeah. one thing. My girl, Lil' Kim, got all porn stars doing all kind of nasty things. Nah, nah. She's, 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 she's the reason, she's the reason for fathers right she now. She made hip hop chicks do nasty things. Yeah, she turned She ain't turned the phone Yeah, she turned yeah, porn, porn you know chicks are still porn chicks. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, Oma, like, like, the Project host and all night. Yeah. I'm thinking of one positive lady stand up and defend yourself with line from Lil' Kim. Listen, listen, yeah. listen, okay, listen. Everything is wait a minute, yeah, listen. I think so. Wait, wait, wait. 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 What, uh-huh. what would be, what would, what would life be yeah. without the Project host? What kind of stories <laughs> would you not have? MC Shane would never saw. I was I'm MC just Shen saying, song. all of us can't front. Project Ho, P-P- Project Ho, MC Shane. I can't think of the line. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, she doesn't have it. Yeah. Kim is cool, whatever. She said nothing positive came out of her mouth. Oh, okay, that sounds crazy. On that note, we got to wrap it up, folks. Yeah. And this kind of thing, man, where would this world be? Go to the Big John Panda Facebook like page and leave, give us your thoughts on where this world be without hip hop. Because its influence worldwide is undeniable, baby. Hip-hop won't stop, don't stop. You heard me? Look in the mirror and you see hip-hop. Hip-hop. Where I wear my kicks is hip-hop. Because it's hip-hop, son. Yep. New York, BX, all right day. Right down to the socks, baby. Big John the Panda, live and direct, coming from Mustafa's studio, NEB studio in the BX. Big shout to Chill Over Radio. Yo, hip-hop won't stop and never will, baby. It was a great sound at all. It's hurting. I can't wait to get back to work, though, because I need a lot of stuff to talk. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need, we gotta hurry up. Matter we gotta go back fact, in. You I'm got going. a minute to plug your movie. Hey, listen, y'all go to um, Punch and Troy Martin Presents Buildings. It's Web on series. YouTube. You know what I mean? I'm working on that mic issue. But work with me, y'all. I got y'all. That's Web hip-hop. series. Hot new web series What's on the block. Say it again, say it again, clearly. Buildings. Troy Martin Presents Buildings. On YouTube. On YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my page, Troy Martin, too. See, that's hip hop. Hip hop influence. Okay. Another another lane yeah, opened I, up. I mean, I really did the bat scene and, and the catch up <laughs> on the floor. I was like, really, no, this dude didn't throw the catch up <laughs> on the floor. Nah, that, was, <laughs> that was um, that was cherry pudding. Wow, you know what I mean, wow. cherry pudding. Wow. See, that, that's another lane hip hop opened. The web series. <laughs> big shouts to those other dudes throughout the city oh, that's doing fact. their own thing. The big shouts to my man Troy Martin yes, building, sir. rocking the buildings, baby. Facts. Come here on the effect every day, all day. Big John the Panda rocking, coming to you live from NAB Studios, chillerradio.net. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Channel 68, BronxNet, uh, Saturday nights at 9 o'clock. We out of here, folks. We out of here. Thank Hip-hop you, don't stop. We out. Praise. Wow. wow. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I think you're on the floor. That was. Ah. Yo, you hit me with that. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Paper stack. Barry Bonds run up on him with a baseball bat. Gun Hill's finest. Call me your highness. Uh-huh. King Jeff.